animated milk. Alrighty, welcome back to the animated universe of Mel. I'm your host Mel and today we're getting into episode number 78 of Black Clover. Last episode we got to see Noelle get her little revenge on her brother and you know made things right in the world. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know, if you haven't already. And uh, yeah man, let's get into this episode. But positive action or thought of the day. Let's eat dinner with someone. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in our lives and we're just eating dinner by ourselves and it just becomes the norm. Catching it on the go, maybe on the way home from work or maybe you just take lunch at work by yourself or at school, whatever. Try to engage with someone, maybe a friend, maybe a, a relative, a sibling, something of that sort, and eat dinner with them. You know, there's, that's a good time to converse and create a good conversation. Maybe uh, invite someone to dinner or ask someone, hey, you want to grab some lunch? You know, possibly pay for it if you want. Uh, so just do something that enables you to interact with someone else while you're eating because good stories are shared during that time and bonding is also created. So that's my thought process with that. And let's get into this episode now. Dude, Saudi sitting there with his ass beat. I will be the one to make Master's Fantasy Street come true. Dude is obsessed. <laughs> you know, just let him have it. Like, once you at least slip up your. Ah, look at Charlie! Here's your usual after battle dessert. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Don't do that to Charmy, you know! <laughs> her soul is leaving her body! Give it back, you know! <laughs> I'll suffocate you by stuffing your nostrils. <laughs> she thinking about what he said as a mushroom. His personality is much more demanding and more exciting when he's a mushroom, but he's more calm in person. Yoko Kambatene. I forgot that they're doing this to be a royal knight. Entertain me more. That king is so. Yeah. He wants. He wants you know and Asa to lose. Lose already. Uh oh, they're changing the landscape of things. So for, I guess for the round two, the stage is changing. I <laughs> like how Charmy magically appeared. I'm back! Zerk's Mimosa Asa Soul Kirsch. He said, but my beauty remains the same. Oh! Kirsch is go he going, up, he going up against my boy Asta! And Magna's going up. I love Magna. He said, well, looks like we're facing off with royalty. Dude must have a, a beef with royalty. <laughs> he called Asta a brat. So Dude found out through Intel that they're going to be changing the stages. So he set up these freaking traps. <laughs> he got argued into silence. She thinks Asta's a door. Why does she like them together? <laughs> they do say the more you fight. <laughs> He said, who be fights? Well, oh my god, I love Gordon. My brain so big that my skull. What? Only thing small about us is his height. They're both. <laughs> yeah, they're both roasted him. I like how they got a magic tournament board. I should at least be using challenge. Oh my gosh. This guy again. The music they play when they, I'll free you from those filthy riches before you even have a chance to fight. Oh! We got the cherry blossoms. Storm of petals, plus my beautiful. Time for a flower viewing party. Charmy stay with the snaggy snacks. Yo, if there was a party, you gotta invite Charmy. Repent your filthy selves. Curse in his beautiful ass. She can't think of a way to bake out a big brother's. <laughs> Asta sitting there admiring it. Meanwhile, them two like, man, how the hell we get out of this? Uh, uh, Asta, uh, you know, I completely forgot he has the anti magic, so he's about to cut through that shit. Is he going straight to his demon form? Ooh. Ooh. That's it. Go even deeper. He's harnessing it. Uh oh, more intense. He's doing it. Yes. That's not magic, baby. Woo! I like that. I like that. He disappeared. What? The Yo, Asta's hard. 
Oh, I forgot that he did set up traps. Maybe he can sense them. Dude's still looking at his Marie sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So he X'd out the traps. Dude probably gonna be heated, Zerks. He said, what'd you do, you little shit? It's good, good night. Everyone's like, they don't know what's happening. Ah, you know, looking like, yo, man, we gotta get stronger, baby. This is hard, though. Like, Asa's learned to at least do that and have full control. Asta did that on purpose to get rid of his traps and Kirsch's freaking cherry blossoms. <laughs> he said, think of some, uh, some strategies fair and square. <laughs> he said, I, once I use that power, I can't use it for a while again. <laughs> Dude, Asa's so in on fighting as a team. I want to work with all the powerful guys here and beat some of the other powerful people. How's he gonna react? Oh, his name's Zora. Okay, bam. Zora. Uh-oh, he's triggering some memories! <laughs> he grabbed his finger. <laughs> I saw I'll use you, you little shit. <laughs> you cool mass jerk. Ah, oh, so he's like I said. So he's basically giving the description of his abilities. He has pitfall, he has binding, landmine traps. Do all three. <laughs> I like how Magnus sitting there admiring him. <laughs> he said, What? You're also a peasant, Donnie? Oh my god. Eee! Hear his little squeal? I can't fight alongside a peasant. Holy smokes. He said, forget this, man. I ain't fighting alone. You two protect the crystal. I'll fight these. The fairest of them all. He can't sense. Damn. Those cherry blossoms are cutting him. <laughs> Look at the unsightly way he's fleeing. Damn, he's sitting Kaje Bugans. He actually is falling for the trap by uh, getting into that narrow spot. I'm thinking, watch. <laughs> He's saying, like, oh, oh, oh. Back. Back. Some high and mighty royal. Nope, Asa coming down, baby. Ah, fuck, my alarm clock going off. Stay back, Phil. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm back! Anti-magic on that ass. Knocked him out. Let's go. Now go get that damn crystal. I just used you, dummy. Yeah! Austin Zoro! <laughs> Alrighty, well then, that was a good episode, man. Asta and Zoro, they finally said his name instead of Zerx. Zoro, he's, um, you know, I guess becoming fond of Asta because he's triggered some thoughts and memories. You know, it always happens in animes when that one guy is always trying to be standoffish and then that character says something and it motivates them to work with them and then they start opening up and being more civilized with other people. That's how it always is, man. But yeah, I like this episode. Um, yeah, and I think this is cool because we got to see Zerks get his ass handed to him, you know? Looking down on the peasants, he, he left, um... Uh, the oh the the sub captain the lieutenant and uh, <laughs> Magnus like I can't work with you peasant you protect the crystal this was funny let me know your thoughts about this episode make sure you like comment subscribe and uh, yeah man I will see you beautiful people next time you all have a beautiful day and One Punch Man will be coming later so look out for that I got to go to work but it'll be out by the time I get back but if there's no one else out there in this world that believes in you I do okay bye bye.